Good morning. It's April 9th, 2020. Um, day number seven of this distant learning. And I'm still your math teacher. Um, today, I'm a shark. I am going to be a shark from here on out. I'm, I am that shark. Um, the goldfish had always been fed. He was comfortable. But then a wave of change hit him. And he was forced to learn how to find food and adapt. That's what we have been hit with. A major wave, wave of change. Um, and we still have to learn. Um, we still have to grow. We need to continue to change. Um, and we're going to have to adapt um, and become a shark. Um, so I today, and from here on out, I'm choosing to be that shark. Um, so my thank you is that Shark and Goldfish um, by John Gordon. Uh, we read that this year in our AB classes, guys. Um, go and reference it. I know it's available on Kindle. Um, you can go and follow him on Instagram. Um, he references the shark and the goldfish all the time. Um, and right now I'll tell you I'm needing, um, that positive, um, thought, um, and the reminder that I can't be the goldfish. I was the goldfish several days, quite a few days, ready to give up, which also goes against our growth mindset. Um, so choosing to be, choosing to be that shark. Um, I'm also thankful for our VMS staff. I miss all of the teachers. Um, I miss our conversations we have daily. Granted, we still have conversations going on. And let me tell you, there's a lot of conversations going on. Um, we're checking in with each other um, like we always do. And so I'm very thankful for that. Um, I'm also thankful for uh, Mr. Nacarado. He is there for every single one of us, um, all of us teachers. Anytime we need anything, he is always right there, um, helping us out, trying to keep us positive, um, working with us on how can we um, help you guys to continue to learn. Um, so, it's Thursday, and if you look at the calendar, oh, there's a glare on there, um, we don't have school on Friday, and we don't have school on Monday. So for those of us that are a little behind, you've got two school days that we don't have school. Um, so, and you do have the weekend. So figure out how much work you need to do and evenly space it out between Friday and Monday. And then be all caught up and ready to go Tuesday morning. Make a schedule starting next week of when you're going to do your school. Um, that's one way you can be a shark. To be a goldfish means you just, oh, I might do some work today. I might do some work tomorrow. Oh, I'll get it the next day. No, to be that shark, you've got to make a plan. So make your plan. Figure out how you're going to get caught up. Um, the next thing you need to do is that quiz. I will be assigning you your quiz here in a little bit. Um, if you've completed your work, you've gone through um, all of the, the immersion the data and computation, the resolution and the trainer for the polling section, as well as for the um, slope steepness. If you've completed all those in that order, you're ready to take that quiz. Um, so, um, and then have a great weekend. Have a great weekend. Um, enjoy, I wish I could say enjoy the weather. I've looked at the forecast um, and by today you could tell temperature has dropped. Um, it might not be as beautiful as it has been, um, but enjoy and relax this weekend. And for those of you that are still with me, bonus question um, for the day is, what is the goldfish's, is that right, goldfish's name from the shark and the goldfish? If you don't remember it, Google it. Um, so once you know what the sharks or the shark, the fish that decides to be the shark, once you know what his name is, um, email it to me. Spelling counts. So if you don't know how to spell it, you better go look it up. 
um, spelling's gonna count. Um, so um, tell me what the goldfish's name is, and then tell me one thing that you are going to do for next week to help you be a shark. Um, so that will be another bonus question for you for your quiz. Um, so figure that out, email it to me, have a fabulous weekend, um, and I'll see you guys soon.